This was supposed to be my very first YouTube video. A lovely trip to the Swiss Alps, stunning nature and lots of art. But it never happened because I was scared to post it. So what got in the way? Why am I posting it now, nearly a year later? What is this video? Artist in the Wild is about exploring, adventure, the world around us and all the inspiration out there. This trip turned out to be, well, more about the struggles within. I think it would be good to talk about it now. Mostly for me, but maybe for you too. I think it'll be good to let it out and maybe some of you feel the same way. So how about we call this Artist in the Wild Episode Zero. Let's start a new sketchbook and let's get these thoughts out there. Here's to being vulnerable. Why am I always trying to fit in and make everything perfect? How can I overcome the anxiety of putting myself out there and just be myself? How can I stop wasting energy on such meaningless things and spend more time creating, making art? Honestly, I'm hoping that this video is gonna feel like ripping off the band-aid. Starting a YouTube is me trying to do more of what makes me happy because there's so many things I want to do and I don't make time for it. YouTube is like a little push to finally do it. So I want to paint a big painting or even a mural. I want to sketch outside more often. I want to build a wonky cardboard medieval tavern and make paper crafts or learn pottery because why the hell not? <laughs> or make lino prints and do digital art, work on world building for my own portfolio project, I want to do studies, improve and work as a concept artist. So many things waiting to happen. And the only thing standing in the way is, well, me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought my channel is gonna help me with. And it really is helping. What I did not expect was how many other things, struggles, it would also be about. And that's also a good thing. It made me realize how afraid I am of putting myself out there. And it made me sad, but we're working on it. I want to make my YouTube a space where I can be open and honest and just truly myself. I don't want to worry about how I'm perceived. I want to spend that time making art not wasted on this stupid stuff. I want to do what I love because I truly love making art. So let's try this again. Hey, I'm Joy and I worry too much. I'm so tired of hiding. I'm weird and I love it. And who are you? Maybe you're still wondering what this has to do with the trip to the mountains. <laughs> Once upon a time, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I had just finished art school in Rome, which was a whole roller coaster of the most amazing year ever, self doubt, learning so much, struggling to get anything done, bad skin, trying to lose weight, and finding amazing, new, wonderful artist friends, and wondering if I'll ever manage to find a job in the entertainment industry. Then we also went to Annecy Film Festival for a week at the end of the year where me and my classmates were trying to find jobs and got kind of crushed by the sheer amount of competition and realization of how difficult it will be to get our names in those movie credits. So yeah, that was a lot for me. I moved back home to Switzerland. I needed a break. <laughs> The mountains in my sketchbook always have been my happy place. But this time, this time it was different. I think it was the first time I, I ever had art block. I still wanted to draw and luckily I don't think that will ever stop being the case. But this cloud of doom in my head was telling me that I am officially an artist now. Like I finished school, I was ready to apply for junior positions, like the moment I had been working towards for years, it was finally here. But every time I did draw, it felt like it had to be good. It had to, because I was supposed to get hired for this. And that was new. I've never been afraid to make ugly things in my sketchbook. It was always the only thing I did not worry about. 
And on top of that, I wanted to make this really cool video and show you guys how beautiful this place is and share some fun sketches, but all I had, I didn't really finish or just not like at all in general. I also managed to delete the little of the good footage I had filmed and was very discouraged by how the video was looking. I've never filmed anything before, so it was really quite wonky and and not as epic as I wanted. And the video quality from my phone did just not live up to my expectations. I decided there was no way I would ever share this. It was embarrassing to me. I didn't want to share this side of myself, like when things go wrong or not how I would like them to be, not as perfect as I had hoped. And I was scared of what people would think. Today, I feel like I have to post it and prove a point to myself because it's not even half as bad as it felt like back then. And even if nobody enjoys it, I do not have to care. This is my current solution to get over my anxiety. <laughs> Throwing myself in the cold water on purpose. Looking back, I only really got out of art block about three months later when I just let go. I felt like I was just ignoring the elephant in the room, but it led to me worrying less. I stopped thinking of all the things I should do or am not, or not yet. And once that mindset was there, it was like I got my energy back and things just turned around. I managed to do a digital painting for 30 days straight. Like every day I did a painting. Something I've never managed before. I started working on my portfolio again and I actually got a job without even applying in November. My first job as an environment concept artist at a game studio. Just a two, two month thing, but it was so great. I also dared to get my first video out seven months after this one was supposed to happen. It did so well. I could have cried, like people actually like what I did. And I only got to know that because I did dare to put it out there, even though I didn't feel like it was perfect. So what is the message of this? <laughs> Truly, I don't know. I don't have a plan for this one and I do not need to have all the answers and I still haven't figured things out myself. I guess this is mostly a note to myself. Things take time and that's okay. I need more patience, not everything needs to happen ASAP, and I gotta stop doubting myself and just go for it. Right now, things are still confusing, and probably they always will be, but at least I'm working on it, and maybe some of you feel a little less alone in their own chaos now, so... We got this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.